Tillo was pop. My fault was pop. <laughs> we are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it. Because I don't know what's taking place in this video. But there's a warning screen. I'm trying to be proactive. You get me. Don't forget, we do got merch and we got Patreon. That's where we post five days a week. Things that cannot go on YouTube or things that get blocked from YouTube that I do. And I just put them on there. Um, don't forget, man. Twitch.com if you do want to catch a live. I tried to go live May 6, 2024 in the morning. Can't do it. <laughs> Can't even do it. I got to stick with nights, man. Occasionally, cool, there's a morning shift where I can get it in. But, like, I was, I, maybe that was too early for me. I couldn't do it. But, anyway, this is a BMAR Burnout. Must watch. London Riders UK Bike Life documentary. I knew there was people with bikes out there, but, you know what I'm saying? Never really, you know, seen one of these type situations, man. Um, We're going to check it out. <laughs> Hold on. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Talk to me, Bimar. One thing I noticed about the UK, man, y'all like the naked bikes. I can't, I can't even do it. Me, I so don't y'all don't think I'm a newbie coming on here talking crazy. I drive a Honda CBR 2006 1000 RR. I'm a leader biker. You know what I'm saying? And I'm coming from Chicago bike life. You get me. <laughs> I'm in Miami too right now. I don't got my bike though. Speaking of my bike, my bike just came out of the shop in Chicago. It was in the shop. Um, my boy Kendall, my barber in, the, in, in, the, in Chicago, he holding it down. Salute to that man. Once I get my motorcycle though, I'm gonna bring out some motorcycle content. No, real talk. <laughs> Good little edit. Is this just the intro? What is this? Oh no, we actually ride, huh? See, so I, I, I can understand why y'all like the uh, naked bikes. You get your full turn radius. You get a larger turn radius. So, you know, you can do things of that nature, which that is needed. <laughs> but I don't like it. I've, I've had one. Yes, I had one. A naked bike, too. Before. I ain't like it. I had a Suzuki a SV. It was a SV650. I, I forget what it was. It was my first bike. Oh, now this is a raw edit. First person. this this is in London oh my god 
Look at the backdrop. This set. This is London. It's lit. I ain't never seen this part. Why wouldn't the bikes gather here? That's wrong. Ooh, got that beamer. Oh yeah, this disclaimer. I did all. I, let me, hey, let me get out y'all way so y'all can read this disclaimer. Hold on, fam, because you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get me because I for some reason I get blamed. <laughs> I'm just reacting. This is this London bike. This is raw. Life in a city driven by passion, power, and influence. It's only natural to seek what excites you. The truth is, if you try to restrict what people it. want to do, it only fuels their fire desire exhaust. further. You can try to stop them, but no. when any form of restriction becomes law, resistance is inevitable. In this episode of Be My Burnout, we're going to show you a glimpse into the UK bike life and how people have turned their passion and community into a business. Inner City Riders. Inner City Riders specializes in elevating music videos and films with high levels of adrenaline and production value. Oh, okay. We secured an interview with the group founder himself. They call him EO. We've got EO on the phone because he's out the country. As we speak, the bikers are currently cutting through traffic. So, Eo, when it comes to riding, why do you do what you do? In Chicago, downtown, when it's bike, when it's bike time, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Taco Tuesdays. Would you, like, we we be riding out for anything. I'm talking thousands of bikes deep. It'd be crazy. I put my helmet on and that's it. All the problems are gone. Nothing, nothing can come between you, tunnel vision, and your bike. Nothing. There's not one problem on this earth that can't be solved by a rev in the bike. Adrenaline, excitement, knowing, knowing that one wrong move, that's it, it's all over. I think that's the bit that we love the most. Like, if you're just riding as a commuter, that's fine, but this is more like a sport, like a lifestyle. It's, it's different, it's not, we're not commuters, we're, we're, we're bike life. So it's a day in, day out. How did you Yeah, no cap. When I was in Chicago, every day I could get on my bike, I could. I'm talking about 50 degrees, 40 degrees. As long as it wasn't wet, I'm outside. Start in the city riders. Basically, I, I had a bike, but after a year of riding, I got bored of riding by myself. Let me start a group. So I just went on Facebook, put a message out, I'm going to start a group. First year, literally, was just riding. It's just all about riding, going to a long ride from London to different beaches in the summer different places outside of London. There's a huge bike group um, in Chicago. I have no affiliation to them, so I won't mention them. Um, but yeah, they, I'm talking about, that's the bike, that's that's who, that, when we, when it's, when it's every little event, they be throwing it. You know what I'm saying? We got our little subdivision. Well, I don't even know if we still do that, but I ain't gonna mention nobody right now, but yeah, it's lit. Just big rides. Second year. Got a message from a camera guy that Rod, you guys do music video. Obviously, at that stage, I didn't know anything about the industry. I said, Yeah, we can come down to your video. And we came down to that video and done a couple of stunts, had a bit of riding for the artist. Cut a long story short, three videos down the line, we're done for free. And then we just, we just all decided as a team we're going to start charging. Four and a half years down the line. Yeah, get, get so you can get T-shirts to the group. Y'all can organize stuff. Got Almost 400 time. music videos, over 50 members. Now, a lot of bikes, we've got cars now, models, everything for a music video. But the main focus is and always will remain bikes. It's a lifestyle. It's what we do. That's cool. When I get to London, y'all let me ride one of y'all bikes. I know y'all got extras. I am a licensed motorcyclist. I got you. I'm outside with y'all. I hope we can go on the... You know what? Let me just... 
nighttime ride out. I need nothing less than a leader bike. <laughs> And if y'all anything like my boys, man, we used to go out to the BP right off uh, 94, the last exit, you know, because it's a BP right there in River North. And, you know, that's where all the clubs let out. And, you know, women, they love bikes. They love bikes. They hop right on the back. And we it's just crazy. What do you think to the current state of bike life in the UK? It's good. It's good. It's good. But... My boy Ace was a demon at that. I'm talking, oh my God, that's my daughter's goddad. He drive a Suzuki the Special Edition. It's 2016, 2012, I forget. Special Edition. It's hard to enjoy your life. 25 year anniversary. How we went around. Too many cameras, too many doors. Nowhere for us to go and practice and do what we want to do without getting a headache. I was just baffled at how, uh, with no one on the streets, no one uh, was like annoyed. Everyone was just gassed. Everyone was like so happy to see. Yeah, it. they love it. Yeah, they love so it. This is this is the thing. Your normal your normal person on the side of the road gets excited, loves it. That whoa, this is great. What a show! The kids they love it. It's just the government and the police, really. They got. I don't know what it is, but it's like a stigma. It's just a stigma that my class got. But then they won't they won't do anything for us either to say to us like, look, we're gonna build this bike park for you know, to go practice your stunts and do whatever without having problems. Just like you ain't got nowhere to go, so where'd you do it? What can I do on the road? What else can we do? completely just a government thing like don't bro is capping on that phone like there's a couple of there's a few bikers that that make it hard for the rest of everybody who's just trying to you know what i'm saying get outside and you know live the bike life you know what i'm saying driving crazy weaving through traffic i'm, I'm not saying i'm perfect <laughs> i'm not saying i'm perfect uh but i'm just saying like they got a reason they do overdo it though But I know in Chicago, you can't chase a bike. In the UK, you could chase a bike. You could do like pit maneuver on a bike, tactical takedowns on a bike. I'm like, that's insane. You know so me? is that your ultimatum? That would be the solution to the problem of not having anywhere it would, to it do would it. Be good, yeah. it, w it would be good if, if, the, if the people that really want to stunt and want to make a career of it, because you have to understand there's people that want to make a living of what they love to do. Some people don't want to be in a dead end job nine to five working for somebody you know what i mean when they could when they're skillful enough to be a stuntman or be in a film riding a bike you get where i'm coming from but it's just hard how do you show your skills and how do you show it professionally if there's no this mean police tap the helm we're professionally for you to go and show it and obviously you have like stunt companies and stuff like that but let's be honest they're all like golden spoons that they come from families that are rich that can put money into them I can pull them to a private place. Do you, know, do you get where I'm coming from? So it's hard for like the, the kids in London that are growing up on council estates that can ride that, love it, have a passion for it. When you got no no backing or funding, you're not gonna get anywhere with it, are you? Yeah, it's like trying to turn something that used to be used to be perceived as negative, turn it into something that can really like uh, bring people up in the world, in it. Who otherwise wouldn't have exactly. sometimes wouldn't have other opportunities. Help using using their love of bikes. For something that's better, but it's all it's all negative. Like they don't they don't see the positive. Unfortunately. How would you react if the government continued to impose harsher punishment in an effort to try prevent you from performing and riding the way that you do? They're stopping. Come on. We're not stopping. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna have to have a load of chases of us. And they're not going to win any of them. They already know it, so... Yeah, they win a few. Yeah, 
not want to turn down here. Yeah, go move it now, move it, move it to keep it moving, keep it moving. I've blocked the feds off, I've blocked the feds off. I should have flip plates on my fucking car, bro. I do not condone that type of behavior. Mm. What is this, Soho? This is what you call UK bike life, innit? Yeah, yeah, that's what we call yeah. riders' hands. <laughs> You're right there. Yeah, same with you, yeah, same with you. Callus is everywhere, G. We're riders. Hey. Nah, not me, buddy. I got. <laughs> I'm putting gloves on. We're out here. This is part of the bike life scene where everyone just comes and just chills, you know? Come, come and real equipment. Down, come this way. Salute, though. So, yeah. Everyone comes here, they just chill. They all park their bikes, everyone, like, as you can see, there's no animosity. They got the mini hikes out there. And park their the, bikes, everyone like, I don't like when nobody do this to me though. Don't park your bike in front of mine. <laughs> Cause in case we got to get up out of there in a hurry for some odd reason. I don't want you to see it. There's no animosity. Every the Groms out there. Just talking to each other. Yeah. Probably people that the scooters, you gotta go. Don't even know each other, but they just, for the love of bikes. dislike about riding with a uh, huge I'm talking huge huge numbers of people it's everybody's not on the same level you know what I'm saying there's new with people there's people trying new things that they normally don't do you know what I'm saying trying to show out and that's how bikers go down man in them huge groups <laughs> Everybody can't hit a, a tight corner, you know what I'm saying? At 40, 50 miles an hour. Everybody can't, they gotta slow down or they're gonna try and they're gonna overshoot the shot. And, and, and imagine all of that in a big group. This looks like Lakeshore Drive. No, 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 this look like, um, I'm tweaking. This look like, uh, what street this look like? State Street? Chicago, yes, thank you. Downtown. Michigan Ave. This looks like Michigan Ave. There we go. The beginning did, at least. Go get some stars. I have to get myself a quad, bro. The thing is, yeah, I was a car guy back in the day. Like I was telling. Welcome, to. welcome to my class. <laughs> And as soon as I got the, the, I said to myself, you know what, I, I need to get a bike because the car's not doing it for me anymore. I need more speed, you know, especially when you're an adrenaline junkie. I am not an adrenaline junkie. I swear to God, I, I don't like roller coasters. I don't like being in a car going fast. But on that bike, it hit so different for me. I, don't, I like it on the bike. I don't like it on nothing else. But that bike, I ain't scared of nothing on that one. <laughs> and then from there, it was just like, you know what? Well, I learned how to do the madness, how to do wheelies, you know, and everything else. And it's, it's like a drug. Yeah, you just keep coming back for more. And when you don't have it, you sort of get, what's that, that term, like, withdrawal symptoms. Yeah, when you're not on your bike, it's, yeah, you, you just feel like, uh, I want to be on my bike. That's what you can think about. <coughs> I've been two years without my bike, man. Come on now. Does anything else come close to that? I'm itching. Feeling? Nah. Nah. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Adrenaline junk. Yeah, see, this is where I want to be. Put me on the, the what is it, motor M6, whatever it is. It. E. I used to have outfits to match my bike. <laughs>
up? Y'all don't like Hollis out here? I mean, it's Honda Crotch Rock. I see the like, mini bikes, Groms, and. Personally, the reason I haven't got into bikes is because of family previously having accidents when they were younger, being told it's like very dangerous. Would you say the city? Is, oh, yeah, but would you say the city biking life is kind of like that, or do you think it's? Um, do you think it very much depends on the rider and how you ride? I think it's a bit of both, but at the same time, it don't matter whether you're crossing the road, whether you're on a bus, in a car. If it's your time, it's your time. So why? Why fear living when you can live and know that if it's no time, it's no time. Like, take it as it comes, whether you be on a bike. I've got cars that have been riding for years. Ain't died on bike, like, died because of something else. All good, then we got power that sick riders. Last year we lost one. While I was in London, we lost, we lost. All right, Peter, all my, my homies that lost their life on bikes, man. All right, Peter, my boy, Josh. Uh, all right, PA, boy. One year, last year, the year before, we lost another. But I don't fall. So I've ever had accidents. I've done my, I've done my shoulder, and I just, get, I get off. I want to go harder. It doesn't put me off. It just makes me want to pick that bike up. The first thing that a real biker does, get up and hug my bike, hug my bike. Everyone's telling you, oh, you're right. Forget about me, my bike, mate. You got a ghost next to you. Look at him. He wants to fucking ride. I'm telling him not to ride because you got off in a couple of weeks. Look at him. He wanted to come on a bike today. Uh, to be fair, how many, that, that how, how, how many times have you caught me wheeling between sets on a music video? Yeah, I know. He's better to be working these wheeling bikes that ain't even his. <laughs> and that's that. That's the withdrawal symptoms there, like, you know. I'll be like, I'll be like to one I'm, of the riders, like, bro, let, let me wheel your bike, please. What's the thing about wheeling bikes, though, man? You know how many forks you go through? The forks is getting messed up and all this and that. <laughs> That's why I'd rather not. But I, I mean, to each their own, but not me. I ain't trying to spend that money every time. You either have it or you don't, yeah? And, you know, there's some people there that have had accident and they've been put off and they don't come back. They don't jump back on the bike. Or you get ones exactly, like, yeah, you know, you get... Accident yeah, you get ones like us, like me and EO, you know, have an accident and just dying to come back, you know? Asking the doctor, how long? How long? Mm. How long is recovery? So it's, 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 it's built in you, not everyone has it, you know? And in terms of, like, riding skills and, you know, it's awareness because you're... Your focus is, you, 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 you can't take your eyes or your mind off the road. At all. And you have to see things oh, there's a hundred. way ahead. And sometimes you can anticipate, you can read the road, you know, not everyone can. Like I said, it's either in fact, it's a good trait to be able to read their road, anticipate what the next people's gonna do. Me, I be all in the other people's car, looking through their rear view mirror to see if they see me or not, looking if, they, cause you can see if they looking at you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You don't have it. You know? And sometimes that's where most crashes happen because they're not focused, their mind's elsewhere, or they just misjudge. Yeah, that's another thing. Always ride to your competence. Don't follow yeah, the Don't try to keep up with nobody. The guy in front of you. Do you. Do you know what I mean? Like, always ride to your abilities. Don't try to surpass it or think that you're fucking, that you're unstoppable. Because at the end of the day, any of us can die. We are like me as a mature rider, I understand this now a lot more than when I was younger. But then there's some people that still think that they can push the limits and that they're invincible. Yeah, I guess it's the same in the in the car scene as well. Like um, people see people drive in a certain way, especially like gapping it up in the streets and thinking that they can just do that. Exactly. But see, that's what's going to cause an accident exactly. when they just can't. They're not capable yet. Literally just did it. How do you deal exactly. with the losses to the riders that you've had? Because you mentioned you've had two fatalities. How does that resonate with you? And do you hold an accountability it's hard, for it's hard. those When people? it's close ones, it's hard. It's hard. It makes you think. It makes you think. Like, sometimes you think about it. You think, and is it worth it? And what am I doing? 
But then at the end of the day, like I said, for me personally, it comes down to, you know what, I'm going to live my life, I'm going to live it to the fullest, and this is what I enjoy doing. And if it's what takes me, at least everyone around me knows that I dance value. Because I won't, I won't, I won't die with fear, that's for sure. Lisa Long was just instant. Know that it's the bike. Fine, thing. but like I'm not. You, I'm. I, you still got to have a certain level of fear approaching the bike because, you know, fear keep you alive in anything. It's it's more of a respect. Like I respect the bike. I respect everything that's going on. So when I get on this one, I guess with respect. It's me. I <laughs> I'm not out here disrespecting. The last breath I took, I was happy. That's the only comfort I can give any of my family and any of my people. In, which did I sub? Yeah, let me sub, man. Let me hit that like button, man. It's tough, man. Makes me want to go get my bike. Taylor, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm gone.